eating and drinking, conducting ourselves in our physical existence in the way that we as Jews are taught to do. I think that that might be the thought that we could take to understand the Shauza of the Trinity of Abed. Because when it comes after the 30 days, and that means the child has a Cheshit sky, he now is considered as if he has survived the difficult period, and now he will live to be able to grow and to become an Abed again. At that point, the eating of the food of the fish are best has the same power as fasting, the teacher, that that's really what Hashem wants from us. He wants us to live, and He wants us to participate, to partake, to have our physical existence, and not to have to suffer. That's important, Dr. Ikbalhu, if we do it in a proper way, in the fashion that He designates for us, so it's not as it's like. I think that that might be the thought of the achievements of the special value and importance of this Shaudra. In particular, we're confident that the child now to be brought up by such dear and devoted parents, surrounded by both grandparents and extended family, great grandparents and so on, extended family, it will be like Hashem. The baby will serve as a source of great Yiddish nachas. The baby of Beis Hashem will live according to the Messiahs and tradition and that has become so much an important part of both families. And we all know the expression in Bei HaGefen, in Bei HaGefen. And when you have a bunch of grapes and another bunch of grapes that are joined together, but according to Dinkok, it should say, in the Ayyafen, in the Ayyafen. One cluster with another cluster. But it doesn't say that. It says, in the Ayyafen, be in the Ayyafen. That means to tell us that they're integrated. That the families come together and become like one. That's why it says, put in the Ayyafen. And in many ways, the extended families here, Baruch Hashem, many families are represented and they come together to join the symptoms and to visit one family and that's the wish. The wish is that it should remain that way, that everybody should share in everybody else's symptoms, participate as if it's their own, until we'll all be joined together to the Simcha God of the Kabbalah's name, the Simcha of the Kabbalah's name.